Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is DRL. We are here with NBA 2K Mobile Season 5. See it on the screen. The update is officially live. We're going to go into the game. And I'm telling you, Season 5 is looking pretty sick. Brand new theme dropped. I released a video yesterday talking about some of the cards in this theme. If you look at the user interface, it looks amazing. Super clean. Everything's easy to find. You got the stat line. You got the brand new tourneys mode. The first mini event for the season is going to be the gauntlet. And I'm going to be real with you. This is going to be so many opportunities to get really good cards in your squad. If you are new to the game, the first thing I'm going to recommend to you is to go into the store. And I already opened it up earlier, but there is a pack that you can get that gives you a ruby team. That's going to help you out with grinding the game. Another thing you want to pay attention to is logging in for seven days because then you'll be able to get an opportunity to get an Onyx Shaquille O'Neal, which is going to be so good to use in this game, especially in head to head. Another important thing to do is to grind the stat line. This is a really good way to get coins inside the game, which is super helpful if you're trying to repeat tourneys or if you're trying to grind the event to get doublers or energy refills. If you look again at the stat line, there is also the daily login. Now, for those of you that played NBA 2K Mobile Season 4 and didn't claim your login rewards, it worked out big time. With the new rarities that were introduced, three new tiers, that means your rewards have changed. My first reward now will be a Dark Matter. Then I can get a Topaz, a Jade card. I can technically get my first Pearl right now. And on the 28th, I'll be able to get my second Pearl. So we'll definitely be following up with a video for that where we open up our daily login rewards. But it's going to be pretty sick being able to get two Pearl cards already. Now, the reason why I recommend opening up your daily logins at the end of the month, because when you're first starting a game, your power is going to change. And as your power increases, your rewards get better. And that's pretty much what happened to me going from season four to season five. And if you check out the mini gauntlet, based on your reward power, I went over the event requirements in my last video, but the rewards here, first reward is gonna be a Jade, so we should be able to get a Jade from the mini gauntlet event. We'll be able to get collectibles for the all NBA team, and there'll be a Pearl player as the final reward. So we're looking really good. You'll be able to get some solid rewards right from starting the game. So these are important tips for when you start off for new players and veterans coming over from season four. Definitely grind a mini gauntlet event. Definitely check out the stat line agendas to do your daily login and log in the seven days to get that Shaquille O'Neal. Now, as far as the tourneys, this is a whole new mode. It is incredible. Each tier has five rounds. At the end of the five rounds, you get a complete team of that rarity, which is incredible. Now, if you're coming over from season four and your power is at a certain point, then you'll start off in Pearl. But if you look all the way back, the first season you can start off with rubies. Then you got amethyst, onyx, diamond, pink diamond, galaxy opal, dark matter, topaz, jade, and pearl. So another great way to grind for cards to get your team power up efficiently. Then we got the head-to-head, -head, which is always a great way to grind as well because you do get packs in this mode, which allow you to pull some players and draft picks. And this time around, NBA 2K Mobile added a new feature to the matchups, which are in-game agendas. A perfect example is the one I got earlier is to get dunks with my power forward. So I was able to use my Giannis to get dunks off the pick and roll in the fast breaks. And that allowed me to get a jade ring for crafting players. It was a great opportunity to be able to get rings to craft players, extra draft picks to get players from the draft board, and to get courtside points for the courtside pass. And check out the rewards I pulled from that. We got a theme player from season four, a Ruby card, Julius Randle, which is a good card. We got two pink diamonds, which is still good in my opinion. We got the pump ups, which will allow you to train up your players. And I also got some really good rings to craft players. Now, if you're new to the game, and you never did craft them before. In order to craft a player, you look underneath the player's image. If they have a hammer, for example, this Tim Duncan right here, then you need the items that are shown on the screen in order to craft a player. So for Tim Duncan, you need 27 of those all NBA team collectibles. Then you also need to get pearl rings along with the Western Conference collectibles to craft Tim Duncan. Now the higher the rarity player, the more collectibles you need. But you see here to, to craft a Ruby player, 
right, which is the lowest tier in the game now. You only need Ruby Rings and the Western Conference or Eastern Conference collectibles. That's another great way to get good players in your squad starting off. Now, if you're able to get the courtside pass, it's $9.99 a month. But I'm telling you, it's worth it because you get enough coins to make up for the cost. Plus, you get the draft picks. You get these packs here that allow you to get courtside pump ups. You get players included in there as well. And you also get these special packs that are inside the courtside pass called courtside supers, which gives you a chance to pull up to a pink diamond card. And as you progress inside the pass, the pump up, the packs do get a little bit better. So like this one here, you can get up to a galaxy opal. And I'm sure next month we'll have potential for other rewards as well. And at the end of the pass, you get a dark matter LeBron James, right? Next month, could be another dark matter or it might even be a topaz. I'm still not sure yet, but either way, you'll get a great player to help you grind your tourneys starting off in the game. Last but not least, another great thing you can do is grind the drills. Upon completion of the drills, for instance, since my power is at a certain point, I can get a dark matter to a jade card added to my squad. That's incredible. And the drills are fun. They're easy to do. This is reaction time. All you need to do is just tap the lights on the screen. You got a 2 v 2 drill, a free throw golf, which is easy as well, and shooting practice. Complete those drills every day, and you get a pack when you get a random card in it. So those are tips for anyone starting off on day one of NBA 2K Mobile Season 5. If you are new to this channel, I definitely recommend subscribing. We've got a lot more content coming out. we got a pack opening dropping tomorrow. And I got more videos lined up. And for those of you that are already subscribed, as always, I appreciate the support. I catch everybody next one. Peace out.